When I try to remember my life before my fifth birthday, I recall only a few passing images collecting rocks in a playground, finger painting in my bedroom, watching a film about ocean creatures, tracing letters on a sheet of white paper. And that's all. But I must have experienced so much more back then. Where did those years go? Psychologists have a name for this dramatic loss of memory childhood amnesia. On average, Our memories reach no farther back than age three. Everything before then is dark. The famous psychologist Sigmund Freud gave childhood amnesia its name in the early 1900s. He argued that adults forget their earliest years of life, up to age four, in order to shut out disturbing memories. Some psychologists accepted this claim, but most adopted another explanation for childhood amnesia. Children simply couldn't form stable memories until age seven. So, for nearly 100 years, the commonly accepted view was that early childhood memories didn't endure because they were never durable in the first place. The 1980s brought the first modern scientific efforts to test these theories. One experiment after another in that decade revealed that the memories of children three and younger do in fact persist. But with limitations. At six months of age, infants' memories last for at least a day. At nine months, for a month. By age two, for a year. And a later 1991 study showed that four and a half year olds could recall detailed memories from a trip to an amusement park 18 months before. Yet, at around age six, children begin to forget many of their first memories. A 2005 study of memories formed at age three found that seven and a half year olds recalled only 40% of them, while five and a half year olds remembered twice as many. This work revealed a striking fact children can create and access memories in their first few years of life, yet most of those memories will soon vanish at a rate far beyond what we experience as adults. What might explain the puzzle of this sudden forgetting? Research conducted in the last decade has begun to reveal the solution. Throughout childhood, the brain grows at an incredibly rapid rate, building out structures and producing an excess of connections. In fact, far more links are created between cells in those early years than the brain ends up with in adulthood. Without such flexible brains, Young children would never be able to learn so much so quickly. However, most of the excess connections must eventually be cut away to achieve the efficient structure and function of an adult mind. The problem, it turns out, is not so much that our childhood memories are unstable as that they are built in a construction zone, a crowded worksite undergoing rapid growth and change. As a result, Many of those memories will be effectively removed, others covered up, and yet others combined with later memories and impressions. And that is just as it should be. Nature values the overall process of development more than those first memories. Far from being the result of an infant's mental weakness or the need to block out bad memories, childhood amnesia, that first forgetting, is a necessary step on the path to adulthood.